Talofan, as the elected representative of American Samoa to the U.S. Congress, I want to welcome Greenpeace and their flagship, the Esperanza, to Pango Pango, American Samoa. And I applaud Greenpeace's efforts to protect our tuna resources and to ensure that the peoples of the Pacific region have healthy and sustainable tuna industry for generations to come. We have seen all too clearly the damage done by irresponsible and indiscriminate fishing in this region of the world. Transshipping, the use of fish aggregate devices, and unregulated uh, fishing in high seas have caused tremendous harm to tuna populations and to the local island economies that depend on them. If we are to maintain a productive and economically viable future for the Pacific region, we must stop supporting companies like Chicken of the Sea and Bumblebee that are damaging our resources and our way of life. Instead, we should shift our purchasing power to reward those companies like Starkis that are investing in the future of the United States as well as Pacific Island nations and in maintaining and protecting the tuna populations that sustain our island communities in the Pacific. Starkis is the only brand of canned tuna that continues to cook and clean whole fish in America. Chicken of the Sea and Bumblebee, on the other hand, outsource American jobs by exploiting cheap labor in foreign countries. For example, in the year 2009, one day after American Samoa was hit by the most powerful earthquake in the world at that time, set off a massive tsunami from which the territory has not fully recovered. Chicken of the Sea, after doing business in American Samoa for many years, closed its operations in American Samoa without even the courtesy of discussion, but instead outsourced some 2,000 of our jobs to its parent company located in Thailand, where fish cleaners are paid less than 75 cents an hour. In order to take advantage of U.S. duty-free laws, Chicken of the Sea then hired a skeletal crew of about 200 workers in Lyons, Georgia, to can the pre-cleaned fish lines coming from Thailand. And Bumblebee is no different. Bumblebee, owned by Lyons Capital, a British private equity firm, employs some 500 workers uh, in the United States. But like Chicken of the Sea, the bulk of Bumblebee's fish cleaners are not uh, U.S., but foreign workers employed, again, in low-income wage countries. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has caught on to this unfair way of doing business, and this is why canned tuna processed by Chicken of the Sea and Bumblebee do not qualify to buy America program. Starkis is the only company that qualifies for the USDA's Buy America program. And I hope our American consumers will reward Starkis accordingly and hold Chicken of the Sea and Bumblebee more accountable for outsourcing our jobs and resources. I also hope the US Department of State will renegotiate a successful South Pacific tuna treaty in a way that ends the transshipment of tuna to foreign countries. For boats like those of the South Pacific Tuna Corporation, which are 51% owned and 49% Taiwanese owned, I say, send your tuna to American ports, since the U.S. taxpayers is subsidizing your right to fish in the South Pacific Tuna Treaty area. Of the 300,000 metric tons of tuna that is caught by the U.S. tuna fishing fleet in the Tuna Treaty area, more than 180,000 metric tons is transshipped and outsource again to foreign nations like Thailand. And this unfair practice, in my opinion, is also linked back to the chicken of the sea and bumblebee officials must stop. I want to commend our U.S. tuna boats that direct deliver to the U.S. territory of American Samoa. And I thank Starkis for purchasing the bulk of its tuna from these boats. I also want to ask all tuna vessels to end the use of fish aggregating devices, also known as FADs. It is indisputable that FADs incur five to ten times as much miscellaneous bycatch by purse seiners set on free swimming schools of juvenile skipjack tuna. FADs also attract juvenile yellowfin and big eye tuna into purse seiner nets intended for skipjack. 
Currently, it's estimated that approximately 15 to 20 percent of the total catch are a, uh, a given um, by a persainer that uses fads is actually composed of juvenile big eye and yellow fin. This is causing significant harm to yellow fin and big eye populations as these juveniles are taken before they are allowed an opportunity to reproduce and to bolster their stock health. Scientists have told us for years that mortality of these juvenile big eye and yellow fin is due to fads. The use of fads is a large part of what is causing the ongoing depletion of big eye and yellowfin populations. Moreover, fads allow distant water fishing nations a distinct advantage over Pacific Island nations due to their use of radio beacons. To ensure a productive and equitable tuna industry throughout the Pacific, we must ban the use of offshore fads entirely. This will greatly eliminate bycatch issues or miscellaneous fish, provide protection for juvenile yellowfin and big eye tuna, and level the playing field so Pacific Island nations have a greater ability to manage and profit from their proprietary tuna resources. American Samoa also supports the conservation initiatives set forth by various island governments, including banning fishing in the high seas pockets and ending the practice of setting per seine seines in whale sharks. I fully support Greenpeace and their ongoing efforts to promote a sustainable and equitable tuna industry. And we strongly urge consumers throughout the United States to avoid cup products from tuna companies such as Chicken of the Sea and Bumblebee that Greenpeace is actively campaigning against. These companies must change their ways if we are to have tuna and tuna industry jobs in the future. And Greenpeace and the people of American Samoa need your help in making this happen. For more than 50 years, the U.S. tuna industry was built off the backs of Samoan workers, especially our women who labored long hours standing while cleaning fish. To this day, more than 80% of our own territory's economy hinges on this industry. American Samoa should not lose its way of life just because Chicken of the Sea and Bumblebee choose to outsource fish cleaning jobs to low wage workers in foreign countries where they don't even pay them decent living wages. And while Chicken of the Sea and Bumblebee may try to discredit our workforce, the truth of the matter is our fish cleaners are legal residents and are Samoan. They live and work in the U.S. territory of American Samoa. They are legal, uh, who are now residents and paid, uh, given pay according to U.S. federal minimum wage laws. Many are married to U.S. nationals and U.S. citizens. We are one and the same people. And we stand together again with Greenpeace to achieve our ultimate goal by establishing meaningful uh, programs to sustain our supply of tuna through reasonable conservation measures so that in the years to come, the Pacific Ocean, which is our farm, will continue to provide its resources for the benefit not only of our consumers, but to our island communities. Thank you so much for your attention to this important matter.